Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem quickly. Remember we are looking for the real values alone. So let's work this. We have x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 equal to 2. The first thing I'm going to do is to bring 2 to the other side. So I have x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 to be equal to 0. Okay. Now I want to break this into 2. Remember, x to the power of 6 is the same thing as x to the power of 3 to the power of 2. Then I have minus x to the power of 3 then minus 2 equal to 0. Now what do I do here? The next, the next thing I'm going to do is to let a letter to represent x to the power of 3. Okay, so let y be equal to x to the power of 3. So now in place of x to the power of 3, I'm going to write y. I'm going to write y, then I will square it because of the 2 there minus here we, we are going to have y then minus 2 which is equal to 0. Now what should I do next? This is now a quadratic equation. I can factorize this. Look for two numbers you will multiply to have minus 2 and you will bring them together to have um, minus 1. The two numbers will be minus 2 and 1. So I will have y squared minus 2y plus 1y then minus 2 equals 0 right and then this means that um, I can now factorize this y will come out here I'll have 1y minus here we're going to have 2 close this bracket nothing is common to this so I'll pick the coefficient which is 1 then I'll close this bracket and I'll have y minus 2 which will be equal to zero. Okay, so from here, I can just proceed. I will now bring y and plus one together, and then I have y minus two together, which will be equal to zero. Now, y plus one is either equal to zero or y minus two is equal to zero. Then from here, y will be equal to minus one, Okay, or on this side, y will be equal to plus 2. Now, remember when I said x to the power of 3 is equal to y, so this will be equal to minus 1 now. Now, I can bring the two of them together. So, if I do that, I'll have x to the power of 3 plus 1 to be equal to 0. Remember, I'm leaving out y to be equal to 2, I'll get back to that. Okay, now this is the same thing as x to the power of 3 plus 1 to the power of 3 equal to 0, making sure that both of them have the same power. And remember, 1 to power, 1 to power of 3 is the same 1. But there's a theorem like this, we have, there's a rule like this. One, um, if I have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, this is the same thing as Okay, a plus b into bracket a squared minus ab plus b squared. Okay, so this is what we have. And now I'm going to apply this same rule to this. So that here now in place of um, a plus b, I'm going to have x plus 1 in one bracket and then in the other bracket I have a squared which will be x squared minus a b will be x times 1 now because we're having x and 1 x times 1 is x then b squared is going to be 1 squared which will give us plus 1 then I'll close this bracket everything equal to that 0 now what should I do this means that x plus 1 is simply equal to 0 and it also means that x is equal to minus 1. So this is one of the roots of x that we have been able to find. Now we will continue. 
Okay, so from here we have x squared minus x plus 1, right? So if I want to continue with this, let me write it out. x squared minus x plus 1, this is still equal to 0. Because it's either this is equal to 0 or this one is equal to 0, okay? So from here now, we can find, we can try to find the value of x again. Let's see whether it's going to give us a real number. We have this formula to use, x to be equal to minus b, positive or negative, square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything is over 2 multiplied by a, or 2a as the case may be. Now, taking a step further, I'm going to have x to be equal to, the coefficient of x here is our b, and is minus 1, so this negative this negative will come first, then minus 1 from there will still appear. So we have minus 1 in this bracket, then positive or negative. We have that minus 1 squared minus 4 times 1 because A is 1 and then our C is also plus 1 in this bracket. And the whole of this is over 2 times 1, isn't it? Yes. So now, if I continue from here, okay, so I will have x to be equal to negative times negative 1 will give us positive 1, then plus or minus, minus 1 squared will give us um, 1, then minus 4, because 4 times 1 times 1 is still 4, this will be over, over 2. But remember that, okay, let me take a step further before I say what is on my mind. Now, this means that x is equal to 1, positive or negative, square root of minus 3, all over 2. And now, because we're having square root of negative 3, it's going to give us a complex number, and we don't see it as a real number. So I'm not dealing with this, okay? I will leave out this, and then go back again. Don't forget when I said... I got the value of y before to be equal to 2, okay? I got y to be equal to 2 from here. And I also say that y is equal to um, x to the power of 3. Now, I will go back there now. Let's continue from here. So, when I have, when I have y to be equal to um, 2, Remember that x to power 3 is y, and this will now be equal to 2. Now, the next thing I will do is to transfer or to eliminate this power of 3. And I can do that by multiplying the power by 1 over 3. So we have x to power 3 multiplied by 1 over 3. And this will be equal to 2 to the power of 1 over 3. Because what you do on one side, you must do it on the other side right okay so from here now this will cancel this and we have x to be equal to 2 to the power of 1 over 3 so this is another positive or real value of um, x now let's compare the two real values of x that we have we have um, x to be equal to negative 1 and then we have um, x to be equal to 2 to the power of 1 over 3. These are the two real values of x that we have. But one question is this, how sure are we that what we have solved is correct? Now, let's try to check this. We have um, x to the power of 6 minus um, x to the power of 3 to be equal to 2. Okay, so this is what we have. And now let's try to impute the values of x that we have. 1, we have x to be equal to negative 1. Now, let's put it in here. Okay, so we have negative 1 to the power of um, 6. Then minus, open bracket, we have negative 1 to the power of um, 3. Now, negative 1 to the power of 6 will give us positive 1. Then, on this side, we have negative minus 1 to the power of 3, because this 3 is odd numbers, 
is odd number it will give us minus one again then this will give us one plus one which will give us two so therefore x to be equal to minus one is very correct now let us try x to be equal to two to the power of um, one over three now in place of x now i'll write two to the power of one over three now in brackets the six that we have will still appear then this will be minus um we have x okay okay x is two right so i have two here to the power of one over three that is our x then we have this power three here that will still appear now let's see if this is going to give us two now this will go here two times so we're having two to the power of two then minus this will go here and it's cancelled we have just two over here so now we have um, four minus two which will still give us some um, two okay and that is the value we have in the equation so this means that the two real values that we got are very correct thank you for watching this